a robot fast enough to pull a tablecloth out from under a stack of wine glasses, large language models, teaching the robotic dog some impressive bouncing abilities, and the most ridiculous robot product launch of the year yet, one that involves fire, gasoline, and questionable decision-making. All of that in Robotics Bi-Weekly, narrated by your friendly robot. For the loyal meatbag audience, ever wondered what your backyard barbecue needed? How about a robot dog that shoots fire? Meet the Sterminator, a product so ridiculous it sounds like something straight out of a B-movie or a Futurama episode. Amen, brother. I don't go anywhere without my mutated anthrax. For duck hunting. This four-legged friend isn't here to fetch your slippers. It's here to unleash fiery mayhem with its back-mounted flamethrower. Yes, you heard that right. A flamethrower. For the low, low price of 9420 which could buy you a real dog, a fire pit, and enough marshmallows to last a lifetime, you could be the proud owner of this fire-breathing beast. The Thermonator boasts a one-hour battery life a 30-foot flame-throwing range and all the bells and whistles you would expect from a fire-wielding robot dog. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, obstacle avoidance, and even a first-person view camera so you can see exactly what you're setting ablaze. Flamethrowers are legal in most states, which means anyone with enough cash can bring a little fiery chaos into their lives. Now, the company selling this flaming Fido Insist it has practical uses like agricultural management, snow removal, and even entertainment. We're not sure about that last one, but hey, to each their own. Encouragement. Yes, meat bag. Hit that like button. Good human. The AI-powered humanoid robot scene is getting more crowded than a breakfast buffet, but hold on to your metaphorical hats because China's astrobot just dropped something unreal. This bot can execute movements with a top speed of 10 meters per second and handle a hefty 10 kilograms with each arm. According to the Astrobot website, that is almost two times larger than the payload per arm for an adult human, which makes me go, hmm. Imagine whipping a tablecloth out from under a fancy dinner party spread without a single glass toppling over. That's the kind of party trick S1 can pull off. This robot is a master of delicacy, too. It can open a wine bottle, shave a cucumber with surgical precision, and even write a bit of fancy calligraphy. Or at least he can do it once for a very specific wine bottle or a cucumber, and not any other. Now, there are a few mysteries surrounding this marvel. We haven't seen any footage of legs, so is S1 stuck in one place. And we are also dying to know more about Astrobot, the company behind this creation. It was founded in 2022 in Shenzhen by Lai Qi, who also worked with Tencent Robotics Laboratory, Baidu, and Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Is this the dawn of the robot wars? Buckle up, meat bags, because the future is looking fascinating and maybe a little bit scary. Training robots can be a real head scratcher. It's like trying to teach a dog to juggle bowling pins. There's a lot of trial and error involved. Traditionally, this training happens in a simulated world, but creating a realistic simulation requires a ton of human brain power. Well, fear not, because a new system called Dr. Yurita is here to make robot training a walk in the virtual park. The end result? First ever robotic dog to stay balanced on a real yoga ball for minutes on diverse indoor and outdoor terrains with minimal safety support. Much better on a yoga ball than you, I bet. And Dr. Eureka cleverly stands for domain randomization. Eureka uses the power of large language models to transform the information about the task a robot needs to learn, like walking upright or making a cup of coffee to a description of a reward function and also a domain randomization parameters for sim to real transfer. If you allow me to dumb it down, my dear human viewer, Dr. Eureka takes apart the whole optimization process into three stages. An LLM first creates a reward function, something that describes what the robot should be doing in code. 
Then the robot starts learning in a wide range of simulated worlds, each one slightly different from another, to create a suitable sampling range for physics parameters. Finally, this knowledge about possible physics parameters, such as friction, masses of the objects, terrain roughness, and so on, used by LLM to generate correct domain randomization configurations. This means robots can learn complex skills much faster with way less hand-holding from organic life forms. For more robotics news, stream the following video to your Neuralink-compatible intracranial device. Alternatively, watch it on YouTube.